Hi there, so today I'm going to talk to you about what to pack in your nappy bag and why. As a first time parent, it would be really challenging to work this out, so we've come up with a list of things that we've felt have worked really well for us as parents, and also some things we've researched with some great tools and tips along the way. So one of the first things you want to be considering is the type of nappy bag that you're going to choose for your lifestyle. So if you're going to be doing more baby carrying, maybe a backpack's going to be more ideal for you. Versus if you're going to be taking a pram out a lot more, then choosing a bag, a nappy bag that's going to fit under your pram really comfortably is another thing you want to think about. Also having a bag that stands up on its own, um, it doesn't fall over when you do place it down is another thing. The look of the bag is also really important because wherever you and your baby goes, your nappy bag will go as well. So thinking about a bag that you like the look of and it's really great with all compartments and lots of practical features and benefits that are going to be really useful for you every day because this bag is going everywhere you go. Another thing you want to think about too is when you come back from being out to restock your nappy bag as soon as you can so you're not left without some, some vital things like nappies and changes of clothes when you do go out next. So one of the first things we're going to talk about is nappies. Um, and rule of thumb with nappies is that you typically choose um, to pack one nappy for every hour that you're going to be out. So for example, if I'm going to be out for two hours, I'd pack two nappies. Plus I'll have two to three as emergencies in my nappy bag. Another thing you want to think about too if you're using reusable nappies is obviously you want to make sure you've got enough liners and then having a resealable bag to put those liners in to take home and wash. The next thing you want to think about is nappy change cream. Now having just a small um, size nappy change cream is usually great and enough for um, a nappy bag because you don't want to have something that's too big and cumbersome. Similarly, if you're choosing baby wipes, just a small travel pack may be okay for you because you don't want to have, again, too much weight in your bag. Then change of clothes. I've got a singlet here and I've got a grow suit. Now, grow suits are great just for newborns for most of the year, apart from those really hot seasons, as that you're going to be going into air-conditioned environments a lot of the time probably. So choosing something like that for a newborn is ideal. If you're going to be going out into hotter weather, then obviously choosing something that's appropriate for the season, and same with cold weather. So making sure that whenever you are packing a nappy bag that you do have an appropriate outfit change or change of clothes for your little one, depending on their age and the season. So that's something you're gonna to have to rotate quite regularly. And just one to two sets of um, clean clothes is typically fine. Then you wanna be thinking about packing, obviously, a change mat. Some bags are, are built in with a change mat, but for the ones that aren't, make sure you've got a change mat in there. Then we've got tissues. Now, tissues always come in handy, so a small travel pack of tissues is a great idea. Then toys, and I've picked out three toys here. So we've got a, a, a comforter, we've got a teether, and then we've got a rattle. And obviously thinking about incorporating some toys in your nappy bag is a really great idea because uh, particularly if a baby always sleeps with the same comforter, making sure you've got that in your nappy bag is a really important thing to consider. And as the baby grows, having something to entertain them, so a rattle or something of that sort can be a great idea. Then bibs. Now bibs, you want to be thinking probably two to three bibs. Our bibs, our bibs have a clasp um, versus Velcro, so they do stand really well. And a lot of people think that you don't need to use a bib until a baby is eating solid food, but I actually believe that it's great to have a bib from birth because they're going to spit up a bit of milk or they, a bit of milk might come out when you feed them. And this is going to prevent lots of changes of clothes. So having a couple of bibs is a great one. Ours um, in our essentials range actually have toweling on the backs. So they do actually double as a face washer. So that's a great thing to think, consider as well. Anytime you're packing anything in your nappy bag, thinking about things that double as something else is a great thing to think about as well. Then we've got hats. Um, now hats obviously, one hat's typically fine for your outing. So one hat in the nappy bag. And obviously for the season, so a sun hat for summertime and a beanie for wintertime, then maybe just a traditional knot hat just for every other day. And because um, babies do tend to lose most of the heat through the top of their head and through their face, so it's really important to have a hat. So one hat should be fine. Then we've got cardigans. Now just an, a, an organic cotton cardigan is typically fine and a cardigan is definitely a must have because again, babies aren't very good at regulating the temperature for the first 12 months so it's really important to having those layering pieces just to keep them really comfortable and warm. Um, so something that does right up and covers the chest and torso area is definitely recommended there. So probably one cardigan will be fine. Then we've got muslin wraps. So I've got two muslins on my list. This one here is great for a number of uses, similarly to a lot of other products I'm going to talk you through in a moment. This is great for swaddling your baby, also great as a makeshift burp cloth, can also be used for a bit of shade when you're feeding, there's plenty of uses for these, these can also be um, folded over and used as a makeshift sheet or something light to put on the baby on a day when it just turns a little bit chilly, so I've got two muslins there. Then bunny rugs, one to two bunny rugs should be fine. 
These are great, again, as a burnt cloth, maybe even better than the muslin because they're a bit thicker. And these can also be used for swaddling on those cooler days. And also great as a bit of a makeshift blanket. Um, if you've got your baby on the in the carrier on front of you, you can put that and tuck that in around the baby to keep them a bit more um, snug. And then obviously in the pram as well. These can also be used as a makeshift change mat if you do forget your change mat or you need an extra one because the other one's soiled. Um, or as a play mat, just lay it out somewhere so you've got a nice clean space to, to put the baby down. Similarly with the blanket, blanket you can use for lots of different things. Obviously in winter time you might need one to two blankets, just every other time probably one blanket will be enough. And that's obviously to throw on on a, on a cold day or if the weather suddenly changes and also can be used as a play mat to lay out for your little one if you want to lay them down somewhere. Then we've got uh, just a small travel sized emergency first aid kit and that's just great because you never know what might happen when you're out and about so that's another thing to consider and definitely a recommendation. Face washes is another thing so face washes you want to make sure that you're taking probably a couple I've just got some muslin ones here these ones are great because you can use them obviously to mop up any spills and then to keep you cool on a hot day you can moisten them and put them on the back of your, on your neck or your baby's neck just to keep them cool on hot days. So another, thing, another couple of things you want to think about is maybe packing two pacifiers if you are using pacifiers because one might fall on the ground and then you need a spare one. If you're feeding um, the baby when you're out and about, which you probably will, then obviously thinking about whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding. With breastfeeding, you might want to pack some breast pads, nipple shields, etc., whatever you're using at home to feed the baby. If you're using bottles, then using making sure that you bring enough bottles with formula um, and maybe a thermos to keep the temperature of the water the right temperature that you need. Also thinking about what temperature it is outside on that day, if it's a very hot day, maybe packing some sunscreen. Always packing a water bottle for yourself. Also thinking about things like um, portable recharges to charge your phone if you're out and about too. We want to make sure that we're, we've always got a charged phone so we can make phone calls when we need to. So I hope this has been useful and helpful for you today. There's plenty of other things that I'm sure you might want to incorporate into your nappy bag. But there's just a few tools and tips. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you so much for your time today.